Okay, so today we're going to cover two things. Uh, both will be relatively quick. So first, we're going to move our link into a globally registered component. That way, we don't need to import and register it on every single page that we intend to use it, since in most applications, it's going to be most, if not all, pages. So we'll do that first, and then we will add aliasing to our imports. So instead of doing a relative path to go and find a particular component that we want to import, we can instead just reference an alias. So our alias here, which we'll set up as the at character, will point to resources JavaScript. And then all that we need to do is reference to the particular component from there, which would be layouts and then off in this particular case. The reason that we want to set this up is because it does two things for us. First, we don't need to stop and think where we need to go from the particular component that we're in in order to find the component that we need to import. So for example, here we need to go from login out to auth, out to pages, over to layouts and then in the auth. And so we would need to do that every time that we import regardless of whatever page we're on. And that tree depth can change depending on how nested you make your particular files. So that's one reason. The other reason is copying pasting. So if I copy this layout import here and paste it into my home, these are at two different nest levels. So I'm gonna to need to go through and alter the pasted import to now match what the relative path is to this particular component. Whereas if we were using aliasing, which we'll set up here in a moment, it would be the same regardless of wherever we paste this within our JS folder. So first things first, let's go ahead and get our link component set up as a global component. So right here is where our view app is actually being created. So we can chain off of these before our mount to add in additional global components. So we can call a method here called component. The first argument will be the name. Uh, we'll stick with kind of like the view router link component structure here and go inertia link. And then we need to import our link, which I'll just copy from our home page here and paste up at the top and then set that as the actual component to use for the inertia link name. So we can give that a save and now we can jump into our home component, get rid of this import, get rid of the component registration. And now we can replace the link component with inertia link. Give that a save and then if we jump into our actual application here we can see it works just fine so let's go ahead and do that within our login component here this one's using a setup script so we can go ahead and just get rid of that and then replace link with inertia link okay that's set out for sanity's sake and there we go you can see that's working just fine so next let's go ahead and set up aliasing so first things first if you have your server running go ahead and stop it because we need to jump into our webpack config.js and right where we have our view loader stuff we'll need to jump down to there and let's do encore and then there should be a method here called add aliases and this takes an object and the key of the object will be whatever character we want to alias so in our case we'll do an at symbol since that seems to be the fairly go-to uh alias here within the view world and then we'll want to jump up to the top and within our path requirement here we'll also want to import resolve okay and then let's jump back down to where we just were and let's resolve underscore underscore dir name and then the second argument here is going to be the actual path that we want this alias character here to represent so in our case we'll want this to represent resources js so we can just do resources slash js give that a save let's boot our server back up Alrighty, I've got a couple Adonis applications running here, so I'm just going to open this new port up. And we should now be good to go ahead and replace, let's see, it was within our login component here. Let's replace this relative path to instead use our now alias character of at. So now, after this is compiled, this will be the same import path. It will still reference resources, JS, layouts, and auth. The only difference is for us, this at character represents the resources JS portion. And we don't need to worry about any relative paths from there. So we can give this a save, jump back into here, go over to our auth layout usage here within our login page, and you can see it's working just fine. Let's go ahead and add an additional usage of this. So we don't have any components yet, so let's go ahead and add in a components directory. And within here, let's add in header.view file. Within here, let's go ahead and do a template. And let's do a div class bg slate. Let's do 100 py3 px6 flex justify between and item center. Let's do another div class flex item center space x6. We'll put this in here as an h3. Uh, and we'll do class font bold. And we'll do Adonis.js inertia.js example and then we'll go ahead and do our nav from there so let's do class and let's flex item center and let's end our nav and we can now use our globally registered inertia link 
href slash home. And then let's jump out to elements here. And let's do div class flex item center. And let's add in inertia link href to our login page, login and, and that. And then this won't work yet, but let's go ahead and add in our register page. We'll create this here momentarily. And let's give this a save. So now we should be able to jump into both of our layouts, add in a script, we'll make this a setup script, and then import header from at slash components header.view. And now we should be able to replace our default layout here with header. And let's go ahead and wrap our slot here within a main class px6. Since our header will have a px6 on it, we'll just get this stuff lined up, give that a save. Let's go ahead and test this out. So let's jump to our home page here. And you can see that we have a nice header here going on now. And let's add this to our auth page here as well. So script setup import header from at components header.view. And we'll replace our auth layout here with header as well. Give that a save. Jump over to the login page here and see. Test these links out here as well. We know that register doesn't quite work yet. Uh, and let's replace this slot here with a main class PX6 so that this is lined up as well. Give that a save and there we go. Let's jump back into our header here and add a couple more things. So first, let's add a margin bottom six to that. And then we also need a space X six over here. And let's do text small and text small there as well. Okay, there we go, That'll, that's looking fine. And then let's go ahead and empty out our pages here, get them ready to go. And we don't need these links anymore anyway. So let's replace you with an H1. We'll say login there and our homepage. We'll actually change the homepage here altogether. So let's do an H1 here. Let's replace this with just welcome for now. And let's also rename it to app. So let's jump over into our routes here. All right, let's go ahead and grab our home and our login page here and let's actually put these inside of a group. So let's do route.group, paste those in there and let's prefix this with app so that we know the app portion is all inertia. Anything outside of app will then just be regular edge based rendering. And then we can get rid of slash home so that's just, and then we want to also change the component here to app as well. And then jump into our header and switch this from slash home to now just app. And then our login to app slash login and app slash register. Lastly, let's add that register page in. So let's just copy our login page here, paste this in here, switch it to register. And then we also need to create this component here, but we will call that register there. And then within our auth, we'll copy login, paste this in here and rename it to register, replacing the header with register, give that a save. Let's go ahead and replace this with app. Okay, so now we have our header here with a home link, which works, a login link, which works, and a register link that works. In the next lesson, we'll start learning about forms and how they work with inertia by getting a register form set up.